Hi everyone, Megan Cox here today and we will be looking at the Google Jamboard app for iPads. Google Jamboard is an interactive whiteboard tool that allows you to sketch, add images, notes, and collaborate with others in real time. Google Jamboard is a built-in part of our Google Suite tools for education. In this tutorial, we will explore the iPad app version of Google Jamboard and the features and functions that work within it. To get started with the Google Jamboard app, first download this from your self-service or your regular app store. Once the app is downloaded, you will see an icon like this labeled Jamboard. The first time you click at this, it may prompt you to line it, log in. Notice it recognized my login from other Google tools. To check to see what account you're logged in, simply click the three dots or the three lines in the top left. To create a new Jamboard, click the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. Here you will be bringing, brought to a blank Jamboard window. A few areas to note. In the top right hand corner, you will have the ability to click three dots to get to settings, as well as a lot of familiar options from your other Google Suite tools. For example, you will have the same ability to star or, or save files to your Google Drive. You will also have the ability to share. Sharing works the same as other Google Drive files. You can add others to edit and contribute, or you can just make the file view only so others can see your content and look or watch in real time if you choose. When sharing, you want to make sure that you add the GDOT account if you are trying to share within our district. And remember to choose whether you want them to be editor or viewer. Another good tool is to make sure you name this Jamboard. Um, I'm going to name this one Test 101. And that will make it easy for me to find and search in my Google Drive later. Every time you create a Jamboard, it is automatically saving to your Google Drive. A few other options as you finish, you can copy the link and share it out. You can save your Jamboard, your entire file as a PDF, or you can say, share just this frame, what you see in this screen um, as a single image. If you notice, I have the arrow and the ability to create multiple frames. If you download it as a PDF, it will choose, it will save each frame. If you save it as an image, you will have to do each one one by one. If you look to the left, you'll see some tools. Um, to select them, you simply tap once. To expand, if you tap again, you will see multiple options. Um, here you have the ability to write with a pen, marker, highlighter, and paintbrush, and select your color. Please note that each tool is going to show a different shade of that color as well as thickness. So be selective um, with what you have. If you notice, the iPad also offers assistive drawing tools. To expand on that, click your arrow. The first one is the ability to change handwriting into text. I can simply write words with my pen or finger and it will convert to text. If I tap again, I have a shape tool. It will also help make hand-drawn shapes. And the third one allows you to recognize images. This tool is not always perfect, but it is very helpful when trying to um, add elements to a page. For example, I'm gonna switch to my yellow and I'm gonna attempt to draw a sun. Super simple. You will notice as I have that tool turned on and I'm drawing, it's asking me at the bottom, did you mean any of these features? Um, I can kind of use my finger to scroll, select the one that I like, and hit the check mark. I'm going to drop down to this arrow. Um, this arrow will allow you to go back and select things you have made in the past. You can use that um, to move them on the page. Two fingers will allow you to change size and kind of turn. This is going to be true for any of my features. If I drag it over to the right, it's going to switch it to the next page. If I drag something um, to the bottom, it'll let me trash it. If I just want to erase something, I can tap my eraser and color over it. 
If I tap it again, it will give me the option to choose to clear my entire frame. This would be handy for someone who um, needs to continue getting clear frames really easily, or you can simply arrow back and forth. Um, the laser is a very handy tool if you have students or participants joining your Jamboard in real time. If I have a lesson created and I want to um, kind of highlight or point out a specific part on my screen, the laser will help you do that. For example, I may have my problem set up that I want to model to students. If they are in my Jamboard in real time, they will see my drawings and um, work appear in real time. To highlight what I'm talking about, um, I can kind of circle and laser it so that it temporarily highlights it. Um, if you hit the plus sign, you have additional options. I'm gonna go to a clean page. Um, I can add sticky notes. These are essentially text boxes with a border. It's a good way to kind of um, show directions or specific things that you wanna separate from the rest of the page. If you click that little circle, you can expand on your colors. Um, remember, if I want to move it, I need to click that arrow. I can make it bigger and move it. You can also um, search for images. This is gonna do a Google search. You can simply insert these. I'm gonna actually send this one to another page. Um, now I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of zoom it in and you will see I have a nice background image. Um, now I can use my marker to write over that and we can label different parts. Another really good feature is the ability to insert photos from your camera or your camera roll. You will also have stickers um, if you want to choose some of their built-in options. Again, to make bigger, use that selection tool, and now I can write on it. One function that is a big advantage to using the iPad version is the ability to insert content from your Google Drive and manipulate it. Um, here I have a choice board. Um, if I click those three dots, I can expand it. Because this choice board is multiple pages, I now have thumbnails of all of those pages. And I can simply force hold my finger on one of them to drag that one page out and make it a little bit larger. Um, now we can use this slide to talk about day one and I can annotate um, and make notes. If I wanted to go to slide two, I could simply drag this guy over on the next slide. Again, I can expand this and now I could pull out day two. So you can see where you could really um, access multiple pages in a document or a Google slide and kind of expand upon them on each page. If I need to undo something, I do have an undo or redo button in the bottom. If I need to adjust this, I can duplicate it or delete it, always with the three dots. If I hit this back arrow, it's gonna take me to a dashboard that has all of my recent jams. But remember, you can also um, get to these three little lines to kind of adjust where it's going in your Google Drive. The final way that you can access your jam boards is by going to Google Drive um, directly and creating them there. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and don't forget to like and follow us on all of our social media platforms.